everybody and welcome back to another video. So today guys, I will be showing you basic HTML to create a pretty standard web page. So essentially HTML stands for hypertext markup language. And it is essentially an easy way of basically like writing and quickly formatting a well, web page. So now, now, while this seems like pretty cool, of course it is, but you don't automatically get like a, an automatic web URL. There's places that you have to go to get a web domain and stuff. But here we can just open up our file. So this is a pretty much just a local web, web page that we're going to code. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get into it. So let's just get started. So, okay, it's working. All right, I'm just going to go to VS Code Projects. New, I'm going to create a new folder. This is going to be YouTube HTML web page. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not the fastest typer. All right, so now we can go over to our VS Code. Um, and then we can open folder, of course, like we do. And boom, select this folder. So now, for this video, I'm just going to be creating literally one file, and I'm going to name this index.html. Alright, so if you have a good text editor, like, for example, me, VS Code, I can do shift exclamation mark. That's an Emmet abbreviation. Essentially, what an Emmet abbreviation does, so you have this small abbreviation, and if you enter, it creates this sort of like it auto completes a lot of stuff so now i know that was a lot that went on so i'm going to explain it really quickly so doc type html that just means that all of this is going to be basically written in html html this is the tag that every that everything is going to be in this this html tag always has to be at the end ling equals n that's kind of obvious Okay, right. Meta char set. <clears throat> this is the universal encoder, pretty much. So this converts the language into something that the browser can read. Meta char set UTF-8. That is essentially means that it it's converting English, pretty much. Meta name viewport. <clears throat> now what this one does is it scales the browser or scales the web page to the device width. For example, if you were, for example, if I made a website, and then on computer, it would obviously have a way different, like, resolution than a phone, because a phone's way smaller. The title is essentially the page title. You don't, you don't actually view this on the web page, but it's, like, kind of the title of the tab. So, I'm just going to name this, that was horrible, YouTube. The body is everything that you see. So let's get into this. All right, so if you want to write text, basically what we're going to do is we're going to angle bracket and then we're going to type H1. This is a header, and then we can write whatever we want inside the header. So we can type, for example, this is a header. No need for exclamation marks, just or parent up. Uh, I am a uh, quotation, sorry. So now, essentially, if we save this, we go to our file, we open this up, and then I have Opera GX browser because it it's epic. Sorry for that cut, but all right, here we are, index.html. It should have your default browser's um, symbol, so if we just open this up, and here we are. It shows this is a header. This is perfect. All right, so now we can go into, hold on, let me just quickly take that out. <clears throat> now we can move on to the other things. So there's different types, of course. So if we go like this, there's six different types of headers. There's H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6. Each one decreasing in, in size slightly for each number going up. So essentially, if I go like H2, then I do this, and then I'm going to go like, this is 
less important than the header above. Periods. <laughs> All right, so then if we file and save, now it doesn't look like anything, that's just because we got a reload. This is less important than the header above. Perfect. <laughs> so now we can also do, we can also type paragraph, which is P. Essentially, and then this is an epic paragraph. Sorry. There it is. This is an epic paragraph. Now if we go down here and we reload, boom, this is an epic paragraph. <coughs> All right. So now say that you want to italicize some text. So now, say you want to italicize this. So we go like this, and we're going to do on this. M. And then less important. And then we're going to just quickly do that. We're going to backslash M. So now, if we file and save this, and we reload... Okay, hold on. That's a that's a problem. Oh, I added an extra bracket. Well. All right, so now here it is. We can italicize the text. Awesome. And the word epic, I want to make this in bold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like right before epic, I'm going to do this bold. Now It'll now it auto completes, so I just got to erase it and then slash b. Now file save, and boom, there it is. It's bold. Yeah, that is essentially how to make a basic web page. In future videos, I'll maybe add how to like style to add colors and things, but this is essentially how to make a basic web page. HTML basics, boys. See you in the next one. Okay, and then... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Don't leave yet. Join my new Discord server, and then we're going to quickly just do this, and then we're going to do B slash B link in the description down below all right so yep final web page coming out boom <coughs> anyway guys see you in the next one and just like it said i have made a new discord server link in the description join see you in the next one